Hi, I'm Mike Brandel from the University of Texas at Austin. Let's take a look at the economic policy suggestions of the three major candidates. First off, on the Democratic side. Clinton and Obama's economic policies are basically the same, but with some important distinctions. They both want to significantly increase the size and the role of the government in the U.S. economy, and they're also both looking at increasing taxes, especially on those at the higher levels of income and wealth. Where they differ are where the economic policies are specifically going to be aimed and who will benefit from them. If you take a look at Clinton's economic policy suggestions, she's more of the traditional Democrat approach of increasing the overall level of government spending to try to help lots of people. Also, her policies arguably are aimed at trying to help the people on Wall Street. She's received large amounts of campaign contributions, after all, from people on Wall Street and a number of her economic advisors come directly from Wall Street. On the other hand, Obama's suggestions are aimed more at helping people at the lower end of the socioeconomic ladder. His policies, for example, to try to subsidize college education and, and increase the amount of assistance that go directly to those people at the lower end of the socioeconomic ladder. So there are some pretty significant differences between Clinton and Obama. One of the things that they also agree upon, though, is the move towards protectionism. Both of them have argued for opening up NAFTA and taking a much more stringent approach to our global trading partners. Now, this is in very direct contrast with John McCain. McCain has had a long career and continues to say in a lot of his campaign uh, speeches that he's in favor of pursuing free trade, reducing trade barriers, and ending subsidies that we give to a lot of our exporting companies. McCain is also very different in his approach to the size of government. He argues strenuously to reduce the size of the federal government, reducing the amount of waste. Uh, he's also talked a great deal about the idea that there are just far too many privileges that are given to people who work for the government. He's also talking about actually reducing taxes when making the argument that lower taxes will stimulate more and more spending and longer-term economic growth. Even though he argues or has said that economics is not his strong point, he actually does make some pretty specific proposals in terms of uh, uh, how he wants to change the federal income tax system, reducing taxes, eliminating the alternative minimum tax, and, and so on. So this campaign offers some very important and very interesting distinctions in the economic policies that each, each candidate puts forward. It's very difficult to say who's right and who's wrong. After all, it all just comes down to which issues are more important to you. That's the thing to think about. Until next time, I'm Mike Brandel from the University of Texas at Austin.